Hi boys and girls, it's good to see you again and be back together. This week we are going to learn how to make a parrot or a toucan picture that you can draw using colored pencils or crayons or watercolor paints, whatever sort of colors that you have. Now this is going to be one of our last projects. All of the projects that we've had so far are due on Friday, June 5th. So this will be something to work on before June 5th and send me. There will be one other assignment that I post on June 8th that you'll have a few days to work on. But everything, if you look at Google Classroom, if there are any assignments you haven't finished, including this one, I want you to finish them this week and send me pictures of the artwork you make so I can post it on the um, Newfield website. Okay? Terrific. So we're going to start with some different shapes. We're going to look at our parrot. We're going to look at what sorts of shapes we see, what sort of shape we see for the head, sort of a circle, what sort of shape we see for the body, sort of an oval, and then we see some triangle shapes in the wing and in the tail and even in the face and the beak. So when you draw, you're going to start to draw with a pencil, and we're going to make some first some basic shapes. I'm going to make my, whoops my piece of paper. First sort of shape, and you're going to do this with pencil, you're going to sort of start by making a circle for the face. And then come down a little bit, and you're going to make a longer, bigger oval for the body. And now the head and the body are going to get joined together by a line. You're going to make a shape that's like an upside down teardrop sort of that points at the end here, almost sort of like a triangle for the tail, for the wing, I'm sorry. And then another line, or another triangle for the tail. We're going to get to make a line that's sort of like a V on the side for the face. And then moving back one triangle, and another. That's going to be our eye. We'll make some dots for our pattern and the texture on our face. And then we we'll sort of use that shark line on our way down for the texture and the feathers on the back of our parrot's neck. And we can give our parrot some feet to hold on to. We can make a the branch that it's holding on to. Some leaves. And then when you color, you're going to use the color in the colors in the spectrum. You're going to start with red at the top and you're going to go down in the order that the colors appear in the rainbow. Red, orange, yellow as you work your way down. You can see I've got red and it turns a little bit orange. If you have paint or you have pastels or even crayons probably you can work to blend the red and the yellow a little bit together to make orange and the yellow and the blue a little bit together to make green and then purple at the end. You're going to color your leaves and your tree branches, and even your sky. And then I would love for you to take a picture of it and send it to me because I'd love to see what you've worked on. I love getting your emails. I love getting your artwork. And then I also love putting it on the Newfield website. So you should take a look at the Newfield website. If you've sent me emails of your work, if it's been colored, I will be sending it to post onto the website. Okay, hope you guys are doing great. Take care. Miss you. Bye-bye.